Hello again. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to connect Chakra UI based front end with the Python and Flask based back end. This tutorial is divided into three parts. In the very first part, we are going to create a basic Python Flask based web application. In the second part, we are going to create a base Chakra UI application which has routes built into so that you could access different routes using the URL and the route name. In the third part, we are going to add code in our Python backend so that it has APIs built into it. And the API implementation is done in a way that each API can handle get and post request separately and return result as needed. After we have completed the API implementation in the Python backend, we come back to the Chakra UI based front end where we will add necessary code so that the front end can make get and post request to the Python backend. And that is the part of third and last tutorial. The code related with each part is stored separately in the GitHub repo so that you could reference the code depending on which particular tutorial you are referencing to. My objective with this tutorial is to give you everything needed so that you could create the full stack web development combining Python and Chakra UI and be successful. I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you. So let's get started. This tutorial is divided into three parts. In the first part, we are going to create the Python and Flask based backend. In the second part, we are going to use the Chakra UI based front end code. And in the third part, we are going to combine the Python and Flask based backend and the Chakra UI based front end using API connectivity. The source code related with this complete tutorial will be available in this Python Chakra UI folder at public code repo. As you could see here, all three parts are divided into three different folders. So for this very first part, we are going to write the live code to use Python 3.8 along with Flask modules so that we could create the Python and Flask API based backend. Right now, the Python backend folder is all empty. So we will be creating this code on my local machine. Then after we will push that all code here. So that code will be accessible for you. Here we are at my local machine, public code repo, and we can take a look at Python backend folder. And as you could see, this folder is all empty. There is just zero byte readme so we are going to create the python backend code in this folder and we are going to use pycharm to start writing our backend code so pycharm is our ide as you can see i have pycharm ide open i will be creating a new project and we are in Python Chakra UI. So that's the URL. And our project name will be Python Backend. Exactly the same name, but we have here. So Python Backend. We are going to use the Conda to create a Python 3.8 base environment in this location where the, all the Conda environments are. Conda is already installed in this machine and this is the locations from where Conda runtime binary or executables are going to be used. If you have an existing interpreter, you could actually use it here by selecting. 
But for this project, we are going to create a new Conda environment. Everything is ready. So we can select create. At this point, because the Python backend folder is already exist, the project creation script is asking us to whether choose an existing environment or create a brand new. So our suggestion will be to create new. A new Conda environment is being created for us with the same name as our project, which is Python backend. This is the home folder where we have created the new project. If we look into the add configuration, Here we are creating a new configuration, which name is Python 3.8. Exact same backend, which we have created. So Python 3.8 Conda based environment was created for us. And here we are just referencing that name so that this name will be listed here. So that's the name you can choose with whatever your choice can be here. My choice is Python 3.8 backend. Working directory will be the exactly the same where we are working on this project. And the script path will be the place where we are going to write this project. So working directory. So the working directory for our project will be the Python backend. Here is our working directory is added and the script path will be the app.py which is not added here we will have to add that file but this will be the our script path we can apply here everything is set and that's the python 3.8 backend here if you want to verify this backend we can come open this terminal here i have Z shell available in my machine, which is being updated. So this is not a step for you to apply. It may not be applicable to your runtime environment. Here we are in the same location where our code is, is our base code path. And if we try to check what is our Python version here, you can see it's a Python 3.8. If you do not want to open this terminal and just want to try Python console, this will also show you that we are using the Python 3.8.12 here. The terminal and console we both have available here. If you want to use one more terminal, there is another way you could open two different terminal. So if you say Python version and that will tell you the Python version. So you have choice to open as many as terminal you would want for your project. Now we are here, we can add a file called app.py. The file is added here. Now we need to make sure that we do have Python Flask packages installed with this Python 3.8 backend runtime environment. So if you just try to say you want to import Flask, you will see that Flask is not installed because if it is installed, this red underline will not be visible. So let's try to install Flask and Flask RESTful package with this 3.8 backend environment. To install new package, come to preference here and visit your Python backend, Python interpreter, select your environment if it is not selected. As you could see here that we have two separate environment, but our choice is to use this one, which is related with this project. As you could see plus and look for flask. So we have flask. We also need a flask restful. So we have selected flask. So let's install flask first. And after this installation is completed, select flask restful, install this one too. And these two packages are only needed for us to this demo.
if you need others you can also install other those packages so we have flask and flask restful package is installed now if you see here our import flask there is no error in this line it means flask package is installed and accessible for us in this project so now we can say we need to import from flask import flask and from flask restful import we need api we also need resources next we are going to define our application equals which is a flask and decide did that and api equals api of the type application which we have just defined so we have connected this now we just need to say app dot run our host will be 0 .0 .0 .0. so that's the host and which is the string and port will be a number so let's use 808 which will be a numeric value and we need to have one line gap everything looks okay we will save this after we have saved it we could run it so as we have added our runtime configuration we need to make sure that app.py is accessible directly because whenever you are going to run or debug any of run or debug these options this app.py will be executed so let's debug it and once you debug it it will start the debugger and so you could see here that there is some error which we need to fix it let's stop it we will try to run one more time and as you could see here that whether we do debug or whether we run in the result is exactly the same in the next step we are going to define if underscore name underscore is equals main and we have run now we debug it so we have made these two changes in our code and as you could see here that we are still getting the error and in order to understand the error let's take a look into the python flask packages which we have recently installed so here you could see that our flask version is this 2.02 but the flask restful version is 0 0.3.8 and the error we are getting that is actually a bug in version 3.8 so we need to update our flask restful version to 0 0.3.9 so we can come here terminal and we can say pip install upgrade flask as you could see here that we have upgraded flask 3.8 is removed and 3.9 is added and if we try to run this thing again and now the error is gone so it was very clear that the error was happening because of the flask restful version was not updated and if we access this port 8008 we can see our server is running 08 and as you could see here this web service is accessible flask based python web service is accessible however because we do not have anything set in our backend we are seeing this error so the next step for us is to add the backend static content next in the templates folder we are going to create a file index.html and this index.html will have a very basic code which is i have just copy pasted here it's a very simple very simple HTML code. Now we need to use that index.html 
in our app.py so it's accessible so first we need to add the route so we will select app dot route and route will be the path means we are looking at the route we will define index page and it will return render template and it will be using index.html so we have used this render template so render template is actually part of class library and as you can see here that app route is defining this render template index.html which is there and template and static we have already already added with the static folder and at this point it should be ready for us to try again let's stop it restart the debugger open the web browser and as you can see that our python code is accessible and that is what we have just created at this point our level one or bare minimum code related with python and flask app is ready part one of this tutorial is done now in this tutorial we have covered the python and flask based backend in the next tutorial we are going to work on chakra ui based front end so i will see you in that tutorial that's all my friends if you have enjoyed our content please like it share it subscribe it and finally please remember be good and do good thank you